fucked up. Why would I attack her? Hold on, let me save. I want to see what happens. Save. Yep. We should get back to Millie. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. Yo, why'd they even give me that option? It's about to get real good. Okay. I'm slowly getting into this now. Alright. I didn't think it was going to be some shit like that. Get real. Oh no, Ted, it's Millie. Damn it. Why would somebody do this? She was just a sweet old woman. She hasn't done nothing wrong to anyone. Poor Millie. I've had her since I was five, almost as long as me. Yeah, I know. Doll, what do you think we should do now? I honestly don't know. Ted, I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please, don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Again? What do you mean? What? I, I don't know. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. Poor Millie. This is our fault, you know? We told Rusty we'd keep an eye out, and now she's dead. We've let her down. Hey, this is not your fault. That red freak did this. Believe me when I say this, doll. You can't save everyone all the time. People die. That's just how the dice roll. All you can do at times like these is keep your head up. Think of the fond memories you have of her, and just keep going. We'll get that red bastard sooner or later. That's mm. my promise to you. I know, it's just... It's sad, I know, but life gets sad sometimes. You just have to pull through, and happiness will find you again. Now let's go. We've still got a case to solve, and somebody's got to pay for this. Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well... <laughs> Hold on, I forgot to get something. <laughs> It's so sad what happened to her. No point in dragging her around. It's all so disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful place in the world. <clears throat> all that arguing made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. Wait, this nigga just ate. You, you want, uh, you want to tag along? Do you know who I am? Use a bit. <laughs> use a bit. <laughs> Nigga, use a bit. <laughs> News flash. I fucked your moms. <laughs> I'm your daddy. I'm disrespectful. Don't give a fuck if you don't like me. You remember that cake she made for your 16th birthday? I nutted in the ice, and when it's real, <laughs> you can tell. I gotta stop watching the Geechee Gotti video. <laughs> He's like, I'm the gourmet king. That's right. 
It's my little nickname. I'm the Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Or whatever. I don't know, bro. That heart attack you had probably knocked the year off or two. I know all the best places. What? Oh my god. That's the sound. Oh, sounds like a tummy emergency. Sorry, I have to treat you another time. Don't worry. I remember. My lord. Follow me, nigga. I got now. I told you, fix my plate, right smack? Cause they been sleeping. It's time I bring my state right back. I don't give a fuck about these sucker niggas. They tight whack cause I'm a nigga out of Jersey. Straight like that.